What's up, ass babes? Baby, I just got home. Rushed home because, as usual, all the kids got something to do. Just tired. I be dog tired when I get home. Anyway, I hope y'all doing all right. Ooh. Oh, my feet are tired. I don't even think I, I don't even think I vlogged my outfit today. Ain't that a blimp? The whole day was a rush. So it was busy. So I know kids gonna find out I have it anyway. But baby, I was obsessed. It was my first time using um, this program at school where when the students are on Chromebooks, you can see what they're doing. And it's just fascinating <laughs> to see what they're doing. So I was like, yes, Joy, <laughs> yes, Joy, <laughs> yes. We're gonna have this, a productive day. This is gonna be a productive day. So when the kids are testing, you're gonna get all your grading done, get your grades in, cause grades are due by Friday or Monday morning. So I was like, okay, so you know, I could get some stuff done, period. Baby, I learned how to use that program today. I started looking to see what those kids were doing and I just became obsessed. It was like hard to click away and then you can take control of their Chromebook and what they're looking at and I was closing people's stuff. You shouldn't be on that. You shouldn't be on that. But I didn't say anything. <laughs> And one little girl was like, I know it was you, Miss Basil. I know it was you who was closing my stuff. I was like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, huh? And I saw some messages saying, this is hard. This is hard. Uh, Y'all shouldn't be talking anyway. But it's like, it gets so frustrating. I know a few people watch my doodly video of me annotating and breaking down a poem. Because you cannot, for me, and what I've been telling the kids, you just can't read a poem one time and you think you got it. You figured out all the metaphors, the similes, the symbolism. You figured all that out in one read. No, it doesn't work that way. Well, for me it doesn't. For many people it does not. So they'll be like, oh, I don't understand this. Right, because you didn't time the process and digest and dissect every line of the poem try to figure out does it really mean a red cup or is there another underlying meaning for the red cup is it a metaphor for something so whatever nobody was annotated i saw one little girl annotate i've done annotation videos i've modeled me annotating they get their test nobody annotates then they tell me this is hard did you try to break it down or you just doing reading and that's it? You have to build a relationship. So it's almost like I feel like all this work I'm doing is in vain. Everything I'm doing is in vain. It's, it, it's for nothing because nobody is following the process. And then the grades shows. Okay. Then the grades show. But when you get a grade of a, hmm, let's just say a 100. And you've never seen a 100 from this individual. They failed everything. They don't really try. Now, all of a sudden, they're the bright ones in the class. <laughs> Darling, do you think I was born yesterday? You cheated. So anyway, the answers were flowing around some kind of way. I don't know how they got around, but they did. So my last period class, I overheard some stuff. So I was like, pause for a minute, pause. So I go and run paper copies. We're not taking it on a computer, sis. And then I scramble up your answer choices. No, sis, we're not doing paper. I mean, no, sis, we're not doing it on a computer. We're doing it on paper. I'll be right back as I run these copies and someone else mans my class. 
So here it goes, the student. Uh, Miss Basil, um, do you mind if I take it online? Absolutely not. <laughs> and no, have several seats. And she was the main one I overheard had the answers. She was in her feelings. But baby, everybody's going to retake that test tomorrow. Everybody. Hold on, it's Bobby. Mom, they don't even have the earrings anymore. Your eyebrows look cute. They have black, but I don't want to wear black earrings because I just kind of do things with this. But they have these. Oh, those are cute. Those are cute. These. Where are you? I'm at Target. Oh, those are cute. You should have gone to Sam Moon. You think I should try? I would get those. Save your receipt if you choose to take him back. So, no. No. That blends too much. I yeah, will go with the uh, red. I really, I really like these. But in red, I should have got them when I saw them. I'm so mad I didn't. But you may find something at Sam Moon. Yeah, those are cute. Very cute. I may have to borrow those. Okay, so I'll run this in really quick so Cindy doesn't beat me up. She is not in a good mood, and she told me she's so she's tired. Not. Go to bed. She's not. She was so rude. She yeah, was and I was like, your mood is not pleasant. Literally, like I didn't do anything to her. Like I don't understand her sometimes, but okay, I'll just get these and I'll run Okay. Because I don't think there's another jewelry section. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> some of you ask about, as I digress, ask about Cindy, sometimes she's not pleasant. She, she's, she's the moody one in the house. She's just not pleasant sometimes. So I just said, I was like, what's going on with your mood? And she was like, I'm just tired, I'm tired. And I think my period is about to stop, start. What does that have to do with the price of milk? And being a kind person, well, she's just quiet. And you can tell there's a little mood there. So, honey, I can't be bothered. I'm not letting you rob me of my joy. I came upstairs, I ate me a little snack. A little snack. And came to my room. Yes, I did. Uh-uh, I don't want to be around that energy. I don't want to be around that energy. So, anyway, that was the cheating fiasco. And so, I'm going to talk to the AP tomorrow and find out what I should do. But, baby, everybody's taking that test over, honey. All of a sudden, you smart? Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. doesn't work that way. I mean, if you're going to be a cheater, be a smart cheater. If you know you have not passed anything get a 70 that's a little more realistic get a 71 72 that could be a little more realistic and i'm i'm quite sure it could take you more than 20 minutes to read all that information mm -mm. unbelievable people will finish in 20 minutes 17 minutes you ain't try you didn't try. That test would have taken me well over an hour. Well over an hour to read it, digest it, break it down, understand it, and build a relationship with it. Auntie, you take the test slow down when you know you got the extra time. What you rushing for? So, I'm in my class trying to get stuff ready for my next class or whatever. And then I hear a student, hey, Miss Basil, I don't have a class. So I hear, hey, Miss Basil, and I'm, you know, doing stuff. And I didn't look up. I was like, hey. And I didn't look up. And then I looked up. And I was like, what's the matter? What happened? What happened? What happened? And then tears start coming down. I'm like, okay, let me put my work aside <laughs> for therapy session. So I really didn't know what to say. And I don't know if I really got to her. But. You can give me some advice. Leave it in the comment section below. But with this sweet pumpkin. Oh, and she's so pretty. But with this sweet pumpkin. 
she's having some family issues and she wants more time with her biological father she wants more time with the biological father but things are not working out the way she would want them to work out but then she has a stepdad who's been consistent in her life for 13 years but you know you don't want to give up on your bloodline and you want that relationship but what you want sometimes it's not working out the way you want it to work out and so a little heart is broken and I gave a little bit about my background. Maybe that would help. Then I talked about the absent dad in my children's life. And maybe that would help. You know, but my kids at this point, they may have some deeper feelings about not having a dad in their lives. But they're like, whatever. He doesn't want to be in my life. Whatever. They're moving on. You know, so, and I, you know, I've tried to compensate as much as I could for his absence and did the best I could. But I never made it about oh he, we, he's not here your dad no never oh well we're gonna make it happen without him without his financial help without his presence without a, you know male figure in our lives has it been hard oh baby -la 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 -la. yes and what i told her at the end you know i tried to you know give different examples and say you can't force someone to be in your life. But at the end of the day, I told her, I said, you're directing your energy towards the wrong person. You guys can disagree. Leave your suggestions on what I can say um, in the comment section below. But what I said, I said, just because you guys are related by blood does not mean that makes him a father. You know, I said, the man who's been consistent, I said, he treats you well and everything, the step that she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she didn't have anything negative to say about him. And she said she she hasn't been wanting to get close to him because she's always been putting her energy and trying to get close with her biological. But as a grown man, I, I, I know the pain. But I said, you need to focus your energy um, on the man who's been there for you since you've been one year old that's your father that's who's been there with you from the good the bad and who has been consistent in your life that's who your father is and she was like yeah yeah and oh she was just crying and i said you can't force people to be in your life who don't want to be there and then i asked i said does he have any you know habits and she was like, yeah. And I said, see, I said, he's dealing with his own demons. And that's not your battle at your age. That is not your battle. I said, he needs to get himself and his life together before he can give anything to your life. So, and stop forcing people to do things that you want them to do. Because when they don't do them, you're let down. And then you're crying. And then you're depressed. And you're sad. Because they're not doing things that you wanted to do. And as a dad, you know, there's that expectation that a dad is going to do X, Y, and Z. But he's not. He's not able because he's dealing with other demons as well. So you need to change your focus on the man who is your father. And who's been there consistently. Been to every event. Been to family. Whatever. That's your, that's your father. That's who he is. And so she was like, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But I don't think it really, really sunk in and got to her. But I'm just happy that she came to me and to, you know, let her feelings out and stuff. And ooh, she was crying, 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 crying. And then, you know, gave a big, big hug. Before she left, I said, you're so beautiful. I said, change your focus. Focus on the man who truly loves you and who's been there and who wants to be in your life. I, I, I hope I said the right thing. Um, leave it in the comment section below. But I think that a lot of people think that just because you're related by blood, uh, that you know, you got blood is thicker than water. Not all the time. Sorry. Not all the time. Sometimes it's a stranger. Sometimes it's a friend. You know? Because I know when I was growing up, 
at one point I felt like one of my best friends was closer to me than my sister. So, you know, it just, it just, it just depends. So if you have some different advice that I can offer her, um, leave it in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. And if you've been in a similar situation or know someone else who has and how did they get through it, leave it in the comment section below. And I was just telling Bobby my story. Maybe I'll save that for another video. Yeah, because Bobby's like, how many last names? And I was like, well, my real, real last name, original last name on my original birth certificate. She was like, what? So I'll have to tell you guys that story. And I, I, I've said it before, but probably two, three years ago. But technically, I probably shouldn't be here. So, I don't know. All right, y'all. Leave uh, your thoughts in, in the comment section below. What can I tell this young, beautiful, beautiful little girl um, to hopefully lift her spirits and make her understand that the the dad who's been around and who's been here for her and who loves her as his own child that's her father so i don't know you don't have to be blood to be family that's my opinion you may have a different opinion leave it in the comment section below and with that said please give this video a thumbs up or not and I hope you're doing well. Bye, y'all.